All right, we got to cut this. Man, we got to check this. All right. Welcome to the pit. We're doing some uh, what we call minute beef rolls. You've seen these before. They're called minute steaks. They're called cube steaks. They're called cubed steaks. You can call them whatever you want. These are awesome. What this cut of beef is from is a pretty tough portion cut of the beef. Uh, this will be cut from the top round, most likely. And what they'll do, and it's a pretty tough piece of meat, and what they'll do is they'll run it through a, a machine, a kneader. It's designed to do exactly this. It helps tenderize it, but not 100%. So we're gonna take it to the next level on this, and we're gonna make some beef rolled minute steaks. Yeah. You gotta check this out. All right, so let's get going here. So we had the butcher make us a bunch. We'll make a few of these up for you so you can see how easy it is to do and uh, we can get some stuff. So what you're going to need is basically nothing except maybe your favorite rub. And before we go any further, I'd like to give a shout out to Sobeys who are sponsoring this video. You got to check it out. Go to uh, Sobeys, check out our SPG, our Sweet Martha. We got a bunch of rubs in there. Man, I'm telling you, you got to check this out. Check out Sobeys, man. It's awesome. All right, back to what we're doing here. Doesn't take much. First thing you're going to do is your pit boy coin, of course. Always keep that with it. Now, we're going to take one of these cubed steaks. Simple, right? And uh, I guess it's tenderized, so to speak. But we're going to go a little bit further on this. We're going to hit it with a mallet. And you don't want to use your rough end here. That'll tear it apart. But again, we're going to continue to tenderize it. Just like that, right? Simple enough. Real easy to do. That's it. Now, next thing, you get your SPG, which you can get at Sobeys. And we're going to season it. All right? Now, this gives you your garlic, your black pepper, your coarse pepper, your coarse salt, a few other ingredients. I know uh, fans are using a lot of SPG we can hardly keep up with it all right you got that now we're going to keep some moisture within this roll right so just take a, a green onion such as that right get rid of some of the outer skin that's a little tough you know all about that right so we'll just peel that off get that off your hair and there you go all right now what we do next is roll it. Roll with the bird. This is the rolling part. Yeah. Now, by cooking it this way, we're going to keep it moist. We're going to make it more tender. All right? And you end up with a roll. Now, to keep it together, we're just going to use some butcher string. Right? Just a little, take a little butcher string, maybe a couple, more or less. Now, if you want to use scotch tape, go right ahead. No, don't <laughs> use the scotch tape. Right, you know, Jesus. Don't take it serious. And then we'll just do a quick roll here. Bang. And you can tie this any way you want. You know, I mean, there's the butcher's technique. You don't have to get that complicated. But just tie it. It'll shrink a little bit as you're cooking it. And go... And we'll tie it. This is the hardest part is tying it. <laughs> Especially if it's cold, right? You know? Spring is here. It's freaking awesome, man. So we'll just trim the string. Like that. No problem. Real easy to do. You can make a bunch of these up before a game or whatever. Have them ready. Bring them out. And you're going to throw them on the grill. Now, the next thing we're going to do. Just hit it with a little bit of your favorite oil whoop yep. cut you can see this has never been <laughs> this has never oh, been opened go. before so we're going to open it for that's the, first the way to time. open it right there it's extra virgin too, so be very <laughs> careful with it where's our prop guy here we go so we'll get it on there we'll give it a little oil it'll give it a little more texture on oh, the yeah. outside like that all right perfect and we can do another one just in case some of you guys fell asleep. We know how that goes sometimes, right? Late night. All right, again, 
we're going to tenderize this cube steak or minute steak a bit more. But continue to break it down. Look at that. Looks beautiful. Maybe we'll go this way on that. All right. And then we'll grab some uh, SPG. Or you can grab any of your favorite uh, seasonings, whatever, right? So, um, I mean, but we're going to do our SPG because of that garlic goes so well with the beef as you know right black pepper the whole nine yards so and we'll take a little piece of onion here now I know some of you guys uh, there's a lot of green going on here a lot of veggie but trust me the veggies work well here adding Doc, moisture to this uh, beef doctor told us we got to eat more greens yeah we got to eat more greens man you always got to eat the greens you know uh, of course, you bury it in a <laughs> pound of meat. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, let's tie it. <clears throat> this is a pretty economical meal, too, this day and age, right? Uh, you get a cube very steak. Very cheap. I mean, traditionally, the cube steak was about the cheapest steak you could get. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it was very affordable. We used to have it all the time when I was growing up with you guys. What? Remember, we cook it up all sorts of no, styles. we had nothing but the best Fry steak. it up. in this cube meat <laughs> stuff. Man. Chicken fried steak. Yeah. No, this was good yeah. eating, man. Uh, it has essentially, the cut has essentially no fat. Yep. That's what the problem is. And with no fat, it means it's going to be a tougher piece of meat. Unless you get into the tenderloin, but, you know. <laughs> but then again, we like our ribeyes even over tenderloin oh. sometimes, right? For obvious reasons. Yeah, I love the ribeyes. You know. Ribeye is my favorite. special. There's a good deal of fat in yep. the ribeye. It's like yeah. the perfect cut of steak, in my opinion. Yep. So, and we'll grab a little more oil here. Now, you might have a better way to get your oil on, but uh, that kind of works. All right. Now, this is not going to take long to do. Really? You just want to go for an internal temperature, maybe 160 degrees Fahrenheit, more or less, right? This is a, a worked on piece of meat, uh, so you want some precautions with it. So just bring that temperature up to 160 or so, and uh, as opposed to, say, a nice medium rare piece of beef that you'd be pull, pulling off at uh, 128, 130, somewhere in there. So we, we won't do that. So, we're going to start to cook, and we're going to come back and do some uh, basting, and this is not going to take mm -hmm. long. Yeah. yeah. In a miracle of time, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes has gone by, I think it's time to baste these, right? So what you want to do, simple enough, is use your favorite sauce. Of course, we're using our Pit Boys, and we're just going to... Put a little sauce on there, get it like that, no problem. Oh man, you this smells good, I'm telling you. You might want to make three or four per person. Now I'm going to flip it to the other side so we get some even cooking going on here. There we go. Take a little bit more sauce, get it on there. You know, it doesn't have to be pretty. Oh man, it smells awesome, man. You kidding me? Boys don't do a lot right. of pretty cooking. We Again. like to have good cooking. Put the cover on. Won't take long. All right. Beautiful. There we go. <laughs> All right. The miracle of time. Oh, Woo! Yeah. These minute beef steak rolls are done. Take a look at that. Oh, Lord have mercy. Can you smell that, Martha? It smells good. All right, what we want to do, of course, is remove the string because uh, you really don't want to eat the string in the roll unless you're into string, you know. That's good. Cut that one. And, uh, all right, here we go. Perfect. Get your favorite uh, roll, all right? In. Oh, the way you want. I'm just going to use a little more, uh, you know, sauce here. Oh, 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 yeah. Take a look at that. Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. 
that. Mm. 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 Are you kidding me? Mm. I suppose I'll have to give the cameraman one. <laughs> Come on now. The cameraman. <laughs> hey, we're cheap. <laughs> we need a job. <laughs> so, uh, hey, Cameron. All right, here, here. Give me this. Here. All right. Just grab one of these things here. I don't have my shades on him. It's no, no, just here for the for the. Uh, it's all right. All right. Wait, I'll let some of this over. Your ex uh, girlfriend just recognized you. Got to keep oh. your shades on. I like the Chipotle. All yeah. right, look at this. Now oh. use your favorite uh, hot sauce or seasoning sauce. Are you kidding? Take a look at that. Woo! Oh, this is great. Here we go. This is easy to do too. Remember, feed the cameraman. Feed the cameraman, or they won't go to work. Mm. Oh man, it's good. Mm. It's more tender than I thought it would be. Yeah, yep. Very Oops. good. It's very tender. It's a great you way to do it. onion in there too, because it's savory. Uh, easy to make, very mm -hmm. inexpensive. Uh, awesome taste, man. You got to check this I out. I think my kids would actually eat this. Yeah. It's <laughs> hard to do. Yeah, that's it, man. All right. So, um, all right. So remember this, the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com All right, we got to cut this. We got to check this. Now, this is top round steak, my friends. Take a look at that. That will be tender, moist. You got to check this out.